Welcome to this special edition of NFL Total Access. Brett Favre announcing he plans to retire from football after 18 seasons. Brett Favre's agent, Buzz Cook, this morning, he said this time it is, quote, unquote, for good. After just one season with the Jets, Brett retired again. Six months later, he returned again, this time as a member of the Minnesota Vikings, the Packers' hated rival. The Vikings' future just landed in the Twin Cities. It's just like a knife in your back, you know, it's hard to take. You know, if any other team, we were fine with the Jets, but not the Vikings, and hard to swallow. Green Bay fans are really angry. I mean, really angry. A funeral procession for Brett Favre, which left the Lambeau Field parking lot, went by his steakhouse, and then ended up at Tom, Dick, and Harry's. We needed three hearses uh, because one to carry Brett's body, one to carry Brett's ego, and another to carry Brett away from here in case he changed his mind and decided he didn't want to be dead after all. I wanted to play for anyone who would play the Packers. Minnesota played him twice. It was hard for me to accept the fact that that number four was running out there with that purple jersey on. Seeing him in purple, that one, that one hurt me. I'm going, gee, did you, did, did it have to be Minnesota? <laughs> Thanks to Peterson, fired back to throw, fires left side of the end zone, touchdown to Shanko. So when I played against the Packers, I was nervous as I don't even know how to describe it. I was so frightened of failing. You can't imagine. To say in those two games, I really wanted to play well is an understatement. I thought after the first game, I thought, all right, okay. Butterflies are gone. I've kind of gotten back to reality. When I go to Lambeau, it's going to be easy. Wrong. After all the buildup and all the hype, November the 1st is finally here. It's Brett Favre's return to Lambeau Field. I mean, I was just a wreck. And I just played the Packers a few weeks before. Come out that tunnel. It was pretty intimidating. I didn't think it would be a good reception, and it was worse than that. It's by far the worst I've ever felt, seen, heard. It just made the way I played even sweeter. My recollection of the day he came back was, uh-oh, he wanted us in Lambo. Fred Favre throws the middle, got Schenko, touchdown. He might be 40, but Favre is throwing bullets. He knew everything, every check our defense made. He knew it all. He was calling out blitzes before they were happening. Packers were blitzing off Favre's left side that time, and that's just where Favre went with the football. And he picked us apart. The ultimate nightmare for a Packer fan. Brett Barb has seven touchdowns and zero interceptions this year against his former team. 